great day, meaning we are about to get new bunk beds, improved traits in The Sims 4, and better textures for console players. As of right now, it is the day of the big 2021 March update for The Sims 4, and I'm like sitting here waiting to download it. I'm so excited. I want to see what these bunk beds are all about. I am really curious about what these like trait improvements are going to be like. There's rumors going around that they're going to be like extra traits or improving the ones that we've already got. We'll see. This will be my first impression and complete review of the bunk beds and improved traits for the Sims 4 March 2021 update. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down below your thoughts on these new updates. We are updating! Oh, my hours played. I don't know if that's like impressive or embarrassing, and that's not even all of it. This is taking a hot minute. This might be a little bit bigger than expected. I literally have to pee, but I'm like, I need to know! It's ready! Okay, play. Eek! Show me what you're made of, EA. Okay, your game has just been updated. Gotcha. I see them! I see them! I see them! Okay, I'm like literally in this house that I built on stream, which is dark and scary and not the place for bunk beds. I was nervous. Nothing popped up in the beginning. I'm like, where is my stuff? Okay, this is better. I built this little cottage like live on stream. It's pretty cute. It was for the no mistakes challenge. But let's see. Okay, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna go beds. Oh my god, do we have like a new section for it? I'm seeing four different options. So let's like pull these out. I think it's only four. Wow! Okay, so we've got uh, this one here without the bottom, which I wonder if that means that I can place my own like bottom. You can! <gasps> That's big. That is a game changer for sure. I can place whatever bed I want down there and it clips automatically. I don't have to do anything. That's pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like how it just kind of clips to the side. Like the headboard looks like that. For some of them, it looks a little bit weird. Some of them you can like make it work, but ooh, that is, that is pretty big. That's a game changer. This is nice because I could change the swatch upstairs and also change the bottom one to whatever I want. What I don't like, is that I can't really change the wood tones um, alone. Like I have to change the top bed part. I can't just change the like the wood tone. So if I want that like dark brown, I gotta settle for that like blue color. You know what I mean? So like I think making them match might be kind of frustrating if you do it that way, but it is nice that we have the option. I think you can get up there both ways too. That's kind of fun. Ooh, wait a minute. There is something that I actually didn't notice. So you know how when you change like cabinets and uh, counter shapes and sizes. There's like that little gear thing that is really hard to see. The bunk beds actually have those. So if you click up top here, you can change what side the ladder is on, which is actually really helpful. So I actually thought that you could place this down and use it either way, but you can change the direction of the ladder and like which way you want it to be with this little gear thing, which is super, super helpful. I think you can only do that on this one though. This one has the ladder on only the one side. So you can change that, but the double bunk bed there you can't change, which is interesting. Okay, let's see the next one. So this is the one that like matches. So if I change the swatch here, oh, okay. So I would have to go in and change the bottom swatch too. Okay, I see you, I see you. I mean, you can make it work with some of the swatches. Some of them kind of match the wood, I guess. Those are the two like regular ones there. Then we get this one. This is the one that we saw in the little teaser trailer thing. This is the one we were waiting for. I think I prefer this one. I think I like the swatches a little bit more on this one. I like that like galaxy thing looks cool and this one just comes with the black and white so it's pretty easy to customize. That other base game one is nice but there's so many different swatches that it's kind of hard to like find matches. Like all of these are either black or white so they match pretty well. I think you probably have an easier time finding other matches too with that. This is really fun. I'm excited to play around with this for sure. Yeah the only thing that really bothers me is the headboards kind of stay there and it looks a little bit weird. I'm sure you could find a way around that. Like people can get Get creative and maybe put something on the back there to kind of make it look a little bit better but I mean I'm not gonna judge we we were so excited we've been begging for these freaking bunk beds for so long I want to see if I can put a desk under here and if it'll work so let's say I put like this underneath there I do have move objects on by the way let me see if I put like a computer on here with like a chair does this work yes okay so you can put things underneath the bunk beds which is actually amazing tiny homes are gonna be forever freaking changed all right, let's see these things in action. I want you to go up the stairs. Oh my God, go, 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 little kid. Yay, this is the moment we have been waiting for. 
Another cool feature we got is these improved swatches. These are some base game like kids posters. They've got some improved swatches on here. This is awesome. This will be really great for kids rooms because now they have different swatches. They have changed the skin tones of the characters in these posters which is freaking everything. I'm noticing they're, they're really improving the uh, items for kids room which I have a feeling might be hinting at some generations. I'm not sure but that's just kind of the gut feeling that I got. This picture also got some improvements. We've got some different swatches here which is amazing. I use this picture all the time and oh we got like some different sims in these pictures. I love that. I'm kind of trying to figure out why this update was so big though. For the size of the update I'm really not seeing that many big changes. A big thing that needed to be improved was the textures on console. So these are some screenshots from the sims website showing the improved textures that have been added to console which is huge. Ooh! Okay we've got some changes in the rocket ship picture. More changes in swatches here. Okay. I'm looking at the patch notes right now because finding things on my own was a little bit difficult. Oh wow. Okay we've got a lot of new swatches actually. Okay I love that. Oh that's so cute. Oh they added gay and lesbian couples on this picture. I love that. That is freaking adorable. Okay that's so cute. I, I think I might like that better than the bunk beds. Portrait of a marriage. Okay you know what actually kind of like that's pretty controversial. I'm glad they changed that. Portrait of a marriage. I'm pretty sure it was just that swatch before. I'm really happy they added that difference there. That ain't what a portrait of a marriage always looks like honey. Thank you to the sims for freaking fixing that. Dang. Okay I was looking for the improved traits thing in game and I didn't find it so here is apparently what they've improved. They have targeted some improvements to a selection of base game personality traits to make them more meaningful in gameplay. The idea is to provide these traits noticeable improvements so that simmers can identify the specific traits with more obvious visual cues and apparent unique behavior. This is straight from the sims website. I'll link this down below if you guys are interested in reading the patch notes. They've apparently improved quite a few here. We've also made some reactionary trait changes to slob and ambitious. We think this selection captures a proportional set of positive and negative traits but wait there's more. We also made some changes to daily activities such as taking a shower or eating a meal that would allow them to be completed in less time. We hope you enjoy playing with these changes and look forward to hearing from you about them. Okay very interesting. The most exciting thing about this uh, update here is obviously the bunk beds. I can't wait to build with these in the sims. I think it's gonna be really really fun to play around with the uh, possibilities with the bunk beds especially knowing that they are usable below there. I'm excited to see what people are gonna do with these. In terms of the other updates I was expecting a little bit more. I like the new swatches that happened but the improved traits. I mean I'm not much of a gameplay person so let me know if you guys find these to be uh, exciting. If you are pumped up about these and check out some of those traits that have been improved. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this new update and that's all I got for you guys. Happy update day. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!